Welcome back to the roundhouse. Just about set for the introduction of the starting lineups. We timed that one perfectly. As the Gatlinburg Pittman Lady Highlanders will be taking on the Chargerettes tonight here at the roundhouse. Lady Highlanders. Yellow uniforms, blue, royal blue numbers trimmed in white. Chargerettes are in their home whites. Columbia blue numbers trimmed in navy. Starting for Gatlinburg Pittman, junior Shelby Moore, senior Sophie Henry, sophomore Sydney McCarty, junior Ivy Bales, and freshman Eliza Bettis out tonight. Unable to play, senior Kennedy Smith, sophomore Taylor Reed, both are posts. But that's not to say that their starting lineup are small by any means. Shelby Moore in particular had a, had a good game and Ivy Bells a year ago against the Chargerettes. In fact, Shelby Moore hit the game winner. Starting for the Chargerettes at guard, senior Carly Runyon. In the wing, senior, number 15, At guard, senior Malia Baker. At wing, senior Anika Smith. Another wing, sophomore Reese Belcher. And starting in the post, sophomore Carzy Beatty. Beatty will more than likely tip for the Chargerettes. And it appears Shelby Moore, well, nope, they're faking me out. It's going to be Ivy Bales will do the honors for Gatlinburg Pittman. The official approaches the center circle. And the 2018-19 season's almost underway. There we go, and the tip will be controlled in front court by Malia Baker, dribbles over to the right wing. Gatlinburg Pittman opens up in a man-to-man. -man. Baker, out front it goes to Reese Belcher, swings it left side to Carly Runyon. Runyon tries to drive in, makes it to the glass shot, it's short, and it's gonna go out of bounds off Gatlinburg Pittman. Chargerettes will retain possession, the wind bounded from the baseline, left of the bucket. Runyon. Looking. Lobs it, tries to get in there to Carsey Beatty. It's stolen away. It's a turnover for Runyon. Bettis with a steal. Into front court, it goes to Bales. Bell swings it right side to Henry. Henry over on the right wing, it goes to McCarty. McCarty left a diagonal pass over to Bales. Bells tries to go baseline, cut off by Malia Baker. Now back out front it is. Moore has it between the circles. And they'll reset the offense. Scoreless, 7.24 to go in the first quarter. Swing it left side to Henry. Henry dribbles around front, directs traffic. Tries to drive, and Steve kicks it off left wing to Bell, swings it over right side, Moore open for three. That one's short, no good, long rebound, is chased down in the corner by McCarty. McCarty drives baseline, shot up, and good, and Gatlinburg Pittman jumps out two to nothing, and they come out in a press. It's a zone press, 2-2-1. Two, two, Baker gets it into front court to Reese Belcher on the right wing, and it's gonna be off Gatlinburg Pittman, Charger at basketball. Anika Smith, the inbound. And it goes into backcourt to Carly Runyon. 6.53 to go in the first quarter. Pittman up 2-0 over the Chargerettes. Anika Smith with it out front. Swings it left side over to Beatty. Lob down left block. Reese Belcher's there. Shot blocked by Bales. And coming out of there, the basketball with it was McCarty. And now it's coming into front court. I saw that was Henry. Now McCarty with it front court. Left side goes to Moore. Swings it over to, to Henry. Henry. Left side, McCarty. Three-pointer up, no good. Short, rebound pulled down by Malia Baker. Baker pushes it into front court. Baker, left elbow. Baker pulls up off the glass. Shot, no good. Anika Smith with the offensive rebound, the bucket, and she's fouled. So Anika ties it up. Foul's going to be on 35. Eliza Bettis, that's her first. Gatlinburg Pittman's first of the night. So with 6.13 to go in the first quarter, we're tied at two. Anika Smith at the line, free throw up and good. And the Chargerettes lead it three to two. Bells having trouble getting it in and that's timeout, Gatlinburg Pittman. Back in 30 seconds, you're listening to Chargerette basketball on 99.5 FM. Timeout, Lady Highlanders, 30 
more trouble getting it in. Moore gets it in to Bales, back to Moore now. Moore throws it away, stolen by Nika Smith, and Smith promptly turns it over. So Smith with a, no, actually it's gonna be, our basketball didn't go out of bounds, so Smith gets the steal, and we keep the basketball. With the lead. Into front court it goes to Belcher. Belcher on the right wing, picks up her dribble, skips it across Carly Runyon, three-pointer on its way, rattles out, no good. And saved by, actually they're gonna say it's out of bounds off the Chargerettes. It'll be a team rebound for Gatlinburg-Pittman. Moore, trouble getting it in again. There he goes over to Bells. Back to Moore in the middle of the court. Moore, fouled by Carsey Beatty as she crosses the timeline. That'll be Beatty's first, Chargerette's first. As Beatty didn't rotate up in time, Kellen Baker, the first player off the bench for the Chargerettes. She enters for Belcher. Bells with it in backcourt. Bells, double teamed. Tries to split the double team, almost lost her dribble, instead recovers. Henry goes baseline, shot up, no good, but she's fouled, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul's gonna be on Kellen Baker, her first, team second. So with 5.32 to go in the first quarter, Chargerette's on top three to two, but Gatlinburg Pittman's Sophie Henry at the line shooting two. First one's on its way, and it is no good, almost an air ball. He might have grazed the bottom of the rim on his way down. So Henry back at the line for her second of two. On its way, that one's also short. And the long rebound is chased. And Anika and Malia come together and Gatlinburg Pittman's gonna keep the basketball. Henry gets it in, bounce to Moore, off it goes right block to Bettis, shot is up, it's no good, but she'll go to the line to shoot two. Fouls on Malia Baker, her first, team third. And so now Eliza Bettis, the freshman, at the line shooting two, with 5.28 to go in the first quarter. First one's on its way, that one's a brick. Nothing but the back of the rim. So Pittman 0 for three from the line. This one's on its way and it is good. So Bettis hits one of two, and we're tied at three. Chargerettes in backcourt, 2-2-1 two, two, zone press. They get it in the front court to Kellen Baker. Kellen pulls up, 17-footer. That one's no good. Rebound pulled down by McCarty. Henry pushes it in the front court right side. Henry's trapped on the wing. Out front it goes to Bales. Bales drives all the way to the glass. Shot up, no good. She's fouled, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul's gonna be on Carly Runyon, her, her first. Team's fourth. So now Ivy Bales steps to the line. Tie game with 5.05 to go in the first quarter and misses the free throw. So one of four from the line for Gatlinburg Pittman. McKinley Buckner checks in for the Chargerettes. Beatty exits. Bell's second free throw is good. So Gatlinburg Pittman inches in front, four to three. Baker with it in backcourt, Malia that is, into front court to Kellen Baker. Kellen pulls up, 17 footer, that one no good, backside rebound by Bells. Bells still with it, pushes it into front court up the right side. Diagonal pass across, Moore. Moore pulls up for the jumper, shot is up, no good, tipped out. McKinley Buckner comes down with the rebound. Into the hands of Carly Runyon. Runyon kicks it off in the corner of Malia Baker. Thought about a shot, passes it up. Back out front it goes to Runyon. Runyon drives down, pulls up, left side lane, off the glass, no good. And then a foul on the rebound it will be on, I believe, Bettis, who collided with McKinley Buckner. It was on Bettis, that's her second, team second. Oh, nope, they didn't call it on Bettis. They called it on McCarty, her first, team's third. Inbound pass goes to Kellen Baker. Chargerettes trail four to three. Kellen Baker kicks it into the corner to Runyon. 
Runyon, bounce pass out front to Buckner. Buckner's three-pointers on its way. That one's no good, and Bales pulls down the rebound. Bales in front court. Bales drives, shot up, no good. Anika Smith pulls down the board for the Chargerettes. She's quickly tied up, and it's going to be Gatlinburg-Pittman basketball on the alternate possession. Bales takes the inbound pass, hands it off in the corner to Henry, who dribbles it out front. Henry, down the lane. Shot up, no good. Anika Smith pulls down the rebound. Off it goes to Carly Runyon. Smith racking up some rebounds here in the first quarter. And Smith's pass into the corner from Malia Baker tipped out of bounds by Ivy Bales, so the Charger it's going to inbound. Right sideline, front corner, in the corner. Kara Crabtree checks in for Anika Smith. So you've got two, three freshmen on the court with two seniors. Malia Baker with it between the circles. Baker tries to get by Moore. He gets by her. Shot goes up. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by Kirby McAllister. And then she promptly throws it out of bounds and turns it back over to the Chargerettes. 3.41 to go in the first quarter. Gatlinburg-Pittman four, Chargerettes three. Central with the basketball. McKinley Buckner into Crabtree. Back over to Buckner. Three-pointer on its way. That one's no good. Backside rebound pulled down by McAllister. He gives it up to McCarty. Up ahead, try, tried to get it to Moore. Moore finally bobbles it, picks it up, and she's fouled. That one's on Carly Rule. Her first. Team's fifth already here in the first four minutes and 31 seconds of the ball game. Moore's free throw is up, it's good. I guess she was shooting. First one's good, that extends the Gatlinburg-Pittman lead to 5-3. Second one on its way. Hits them both. And so now they've doubled up the Charger at six to three with 3.27 to go in the first quarter. Runyon throws it away, Runyon with a turnover. Moore with a steal. Moore with a layup and scores. Four points for Moore. It's 8-3 Gatlinburg-Pittman. So Buckner to inbound. Gets it in to Rule. Back over to Buckner. Right side to Rule. Into front court to Kellen Baker. Baker drives. Baker goes baseline and Baker lays it in. Kellen Baker with her first bucket of her career. Cuts the lead to three. Up ahead, McCarty. And a travel in the paint is Darcy Badgett. Takes steps, and the Chargerettes will get the basketball back. One of the things in the press is not necessarily to force a steal, but to force the other team to hurry and make a mistake, and that time it worked, although it was late in the possession. Runyon skips it across to Carly Rule in the front court to McKinley Buckner. Feeds it down to Kara Crabtree who can't handle the pass, but it's going to be out of bounds off Gatlinburg-Pittman. Charger to inbound, trailing 8-5 to five with 2.46 to go in the first quarter. Runyon, Runyon, lobs it out front to McKinley Buckner. Buckner puts it on the floor. Over to Carly Rule. Rule skips it across to Runyon. Runyon in the paint. Back out to Carly Rule. Couldn't handle the pass, going to reset the offense. Rule drives. Tried to flip it in the corner to McKinley Buckner. It's going to be out of bounds off Gatlinburg Pittman. Bailey Lane checks in for Pittman. Runyon feeds it in to Crabtree. Turned around, shot is blocked by Bells. Her second block of the night. The pulling down the rebound is Carly Rule, and then Rule's fouled. Foul's going to be on McCarty, her second. Team's third foul. Inbounds the ball goes to Runyon. 2.22 to go in the first quarter. 8-3. I mean, 8-5. Got Lamberg Pittman on top. Kellen Baker with it out front now. Left side goes to Runyon. Runyon tries to drive. Kicks it out to Carly Rule. Up top it goes to Crabtree. Crabtree open. Feeds it in to Runyon. Runyon bounce pass out to Rule. Rule goes baseline. Now up top it goes to Buckner. Buckner into the corner to Runyon. Runyon 
drives baseline. Off the glass, shot up, no good. But she's fouled, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to be on 10. Willie Stennett, freshman, her first, team fourth. A lot of youngsters playing tonight on both sides of the... Runyon hits the free throw. Her first point of the night. That cuts the lead to 8-6, so the Charger Reds have scored three in a row. Crabtree checks out. Anika Smith back in there. Runyon hits both free throws. So four in a row have pulled the Charger Reds within one. More trouble getting it in. Lobs it up ahead. It's there. Behind the defense is Bells. Bells shot up. No good. But Henry gets the rebound. Her put back no good. And it's going to be out of bounds. Ooh. They're going to say it's off Gatlinburg Pittman. We'll take the call, but I believe that was off the Charger Reds. So Crabtree back in. Smith on the sideline. Then a turnover. Rule loses it. Rule with a turnover. And then Henry loses the basketball. So Henry stole it, then turned it over herself. Buckner with the inbounds. Runyon now with it, left side, skips it across the Carly Rule. Rule. Chases it down. Rule on the right wing. Up top it goes to McKinley Buckner. Buckner, diagonal pass over to Kellen Baker. Shot up. Bottom. <laughs> Kellen Baker with four to lead the Charger S. They're back on top, nine to eight. Moore gets it in to Stennett. Up ahead it goes to Bales. Bales, free throw line, across. Shot blocked by Kara Crabtree. Bailey Lane tries the shot from three on the left side. Kara Crabtree blocks it. And then it goes out of bounds off Gatlinburg Pittman to be Charger at basketball. Malia Baker back in the ball game for the Charger S. Running to the sidelines. So Rule with it. Back to Buckner. Still trying to get it across. There it is to Malia Baker. Up ahead to Kellen Baker. Kellen Baker goes baselines, cut off, kicks it out to her sister Malia. Malia in the paint, kicks it out to Rule, open from three. That one's short. And Henry comes out with a rebound. Henry's going to push it. Henry all the way to the other end. Shot up no good, but she's fouled by Carly Rule. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. Second on Rule, team six. And they'll put Sophie Henry at the line to shoot two. She missed two earlier in this quarter. Chargerettes lead it nine to eight, 49.1 seconds to go in the first quarter. And Henry misses another one. She's missed three in a row. Her first three of the night, actually. Smith back in there for McKinley Buckner. Henry's free throw up, and it's good. Finally, she makes one, and that'll tie the game at nine. Rule with it in backcourt. Rule inches her way up, lobs it up ahead to Kellen Baker. Kellen almost lost the dribble. Carly Rule picks it up. On the right wing, Carly Rule. Over it goes to Anika Smith. Smith in the corner to Malia Baker. Malia at the free throw line. Malia down the lane, shot up. Good for Malia Baker. Her first bucket of the night, trying to keep pace with her sister. Her little sister. Chargress back on top, 11-9. Amber Moore, uh, Amber Moore. Shelby Moore, trapped in backcourt, gets it into front court to Bales. Bales down the left, right side of the lane. Whistle, and they're gonna call a foul on the Chargerette. Say it was on the floor, but they'll put her at the line to shoot one and one. On the Chargerettes, 33, Crabtree, first, team seven. Foul on Crabtree, her first, team seventh. And that should be a bonus, one and one. So Bales will go to the line to shoot one and one. She has one point tonight, but she has two blocks and two rebounds here in the first quarter. So Bales, free throw on its way. Good. And that'll pull Gatlinburg Pittman within one. And we had a lane violation. And that wipes off the second one. Actually, it wiped off the first one. Shot didn't count. Up ahead it goes to Kellen Baker. And Baker throws it away. Stolen by Shelby Moore. And then Moore's fouled in backcourt, and she'll go to the line to shoot one and one with two tenths of a second left. That's the second foul on Kellen Baker. Team's eighth in the first quarter. Chargers are playing with 
10 players tonight. Nope, they've got 11. Looks like Hensley is back from the broken finger. They're going to play with 11, and they've already got 18 fouls. Moore misses the front end, and at the end of first quarter, Charger Rets 11, Gatlinburg Pittman 9, back in 60 seconds on 99.5 FM. Welcome back to the roundhouse. Charger S with the basketball, leading 11 to nine. Malia Baker with it in front court. Now over to Anika Smith. Anika dribbles, free throw line extended right side. Out front it goes to Runyon between the circles. Runyon, bounce pass left wing to Beatty. Beatty, out front it goes to Malia Baker. Belcher traveled with a basketball. Belcher tried to drive in, but took steps before she started her dribble, and they'll turn it back over to Gatlinburg Pittman with 7.34 to go in the half. Central's on top, 11-9, baseball pass, trying to get it behind the defense. Not a touch, Charger Hits will get it on the other end of the floor. Nobody touched it, so Central gets it up there. Under their bucket, at their baseline. Well, actually, not under the bucket, but it's at their baseline. Out front it goes to Malia Baker. Malia Baker drives down the left side of the lane, shot up and good. She muscled her way in there. 13-9, Charger is, and she's fouled. We'll go to the line for one. Foul on Shelby Moore, her first. Team fifth for Gatlinburg Pittman. So Malia Baker at the line for one. Up and good. Five points for Malia now. And it's 14-9 Chargerettes. They trailed 8-3. They're on an 11-1 run. And then another turnover. Moore's pass beyond the reach of Bales, and it goes out of bounds. Chargerettes with the ball back. Lane checks in for Bales. Anika Smith, the inbound. Out front it goes to Runyon. Runyon. Swings it left to Anika Smith. Smith, over it goes to Beatty. Right corner to Runyon. Out front it goes to Belcher. Belcher drives, kicks it out. Runyon had a shot, didn't take it. Up top it goes to Smith. Smith over to Runyon, right wing. Runyon trying to find a way to get it into Malia Baker. Lobs it down, stolen away. Runyon with a turnover. McCarty with a steal. And now Henry pushes it into front court. Bounce pass down low off the foot of Bettis out of bounds. Bad pass by Henry. And the Chargerettes will get the ball back. Both teams have been sloppy with the basketball, so neither team's really paid for their turnovers. Chargerettes on top, 14-9, 6.55 to go in the first half. Smith into Runyon. Runyon. Middle of the court to Baker, kicks it back to Anika Smith, and she'll enter front court with the basketball. Anika over to Malia Baker in the corner. Up top to Carzy Baby. Bounce pass over to Anika Smith, and on the left corner it goes to Runyon. Runyon feeds it left block, Kellen Baker. Shot up, blocked out of bounds by Moore. And the Chargers will inbound there. Runyon, up top it goes to Moore. Oh, actually it's tipped, stolen away. Bailey Lane with a steal. And then it's knocked out of bounds by Malia Baker. So Gatlinburg Pittman with the basketball. Lobbed up left wing to Moore. McAllister back in there for Gatlinburg Pittman. 
Now Riley Henry with the basketball. Feeds it on the pick and roll. Now back out front it goes to Moore. Moore throws it away. Moore with a turnover. Runyon with a steal. And Runyon enters front court with it. Runyon drives left side of the lane. Fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to be on 22. Kirby McAllister, her first, team sixth. So 14 fouls called between the two teams here, 10 minutes into the ball game. Runyon hit both her free throw attempts in the first quarter. She has two points tonight. This one's on the way, and it is good. So 15-9 now, Chargerette's on top, 6.06 to go in the first half. Second free throw for Runyon on its way, good. So Runyon four for four from the line. Chargerette's on a 13 to one run. They lead at 16-9. And that's a five count. Moore with another turnover, that's her third turnover in the first half. So Runyon to inbound. Out front it goes to Baker. Baker working on the freshman. Baker down the lane. Shot up. No good. Got contact. Put it up. Didn't get the call. And then she's going to get called for the foul. Second on Baker. Team's ninth. So Gatlinburg Pittman will walk the length of the court to shoot one and one. It'll be Riley Henry, the sophomore at the line. Free throw on its way, no good. But Bailey, but uh, Shelby Moore gets the rebound. Out front it goes. Riley Henry drives, so the, goes over to the right wing. Out front, now swung around left side to Shelby Moore. Back out top it goes to Riley Henry. Right side to Bailey Lane. Now Moore with it out front, over to Bailey Lane for three. That one's short. McCoster gets the rebound and puts it back in. That breaks the run for the Chargerettes, and it's 16-11, Chargerettes on top now. 5.26 to go in the half. Kellen Baker with it right wing. Kellen Baker into the paint. Kicks it out front to Anika Smith. Three-pointer for Smith. Bottom. Kellen Baker with the assist. Anika Smith from downtown. She has six points, so the Chargerettes are on top, 19-11. Moore, trouble getting it in. Whistle. They got to say timeout. Got Lombard Pittman. Back in 30 seconds, let's the Chargerette basketball on 99.5 FM. Just use their thing, and we'll just worry about shots some other time. You hear me good? You hear me good? Five oh six to go in the first half. Chargerettes on top, 19 to 11. They trailed 8-3. Went on a 13-1 run. Now they lead at 16 to 11. Or excuse me, 19 to 11. Bailey Lane with it out front for Gatlin Bird Pittman. Over to Moore. Now out front it goes to Riley Henry. Riley Henry dribbles over the right wing, feeds it down on the right block to Moore. Shot is up and good. Henry gets the assist, Moore with the bucket. Six for Moore, and the Chargerette lead is six. 4.41 to go in the half. Carly Runyon with it, right wing. Runyon picks up her dribble over to Nika Smith, 18 footer, that one's off the front, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts it in, and she's fouled. Uh, Nika Smith with eight points will go to the line for one. Fouls on Badgett, her first, team seventh. Both teams in the bonus now. So Anika Smith at the line. Free throw is up and it's no good. Got her own rebound. Another rebound for Smith and then she lost the basketball. It's taken away by Bailey Lane. Into front court. Up ahead and Carly Runyon bats it away. Lane from the right wing tried to feed it diagonally across to McAllister on the left block, but Runyon 
caught up and knocked it out of bounds. So it'll be Gatlinburg Pittman basketball beneath their bucket with 4.21 to go in the half. 21-13, Chargerettes lead the Lady Islanders. Bells with it. Bells goes baseline. Baker rotates over, but too late, and she committed the foul. That'll be her third as she tried to block the shot. Her third, team 10th. That could be a big deal. So Bell's at the line. Shooting the free throw and hits the first one. So two points now for Bell's. Rule checks in for Baker. She'll sit for the rest of the half. Crabtree coming in next if she makes the free throw. Bell's makes both. Three points for Bell's. And the Charger at lead back down to six at 21-15. Well, so Rule with it front court. Rule, right wing. Rule, over it goes in the corner to Kellen Baker. Kellen Baker up top to Runyon. Runyon into the paint. Runyon pulls up free throw line, bottom. Six for Runyon in the first half. Chargerettes back on, have back out in front by eight, 23-15. McCarty almost took steps, gets it in there to McDowell, then back to McCarty. And then McKinley Buckner going to be whistled for the foul, going for the steal. Nope, nope, no foul. No foul. It's off Buckner out of bounds. I thought he, looked, I thought he was looking at her jersey to call the foul. The long ponytail blocking the number. McDowell gets it into Bales in backcourt. She's trapped. Now over it goes to McCarty. McCarty into front court up ahead. That's McDowell. McDowell kicks it back out front. No, stolen by Runyon. McDowell with a turnover. Runyon with a steal. Runyon pulls up. Bottom. Eight for Runyon in the first half. And the Chargerettes are out in front by 10. Quickly inbounds it goes to McCarty, who goes to front court. McCarty pulls up for the jumper. Rattles out, no good. Crabtree pulls down the rebound for the Charger S, and now Runyon with it in backcourt. Runyon into front court, right side. Runyon kicks it over in the corner to Kellen Baker. Kellen Baker feeds it to McKinley Buckner, and she's fouled, and we'll go to the line to shoot one and one. Fouls on 22. That's McCollister, her second, team eight. So McKinley Buckner steps to the line for the opportunity to get her first points of her high school career. First of what we think will be many. Kelly Buckner at the line shooting 3.05 to go in the half. Central on top by 10. Buckner's free throws on its way and no good. Loose basketball will be picked up by Henry of Gatlinburg Pittman. Now Bales with it. In the front court it goes to McDowell. McDowell on the right wing. Skips it across left side to Moore. Moore. Free throw line back out front to Bales. Bales going to try to drive. Bales splits the double team and banks it in. Bells with her fifth point of the night. Charger at lead cut back to eight with 2.37 to go in the first half. Runyon with it front court. Runyon at the left elbow, now backs up, now drives. Off the glass, good, and she's fouled. High off the glass from about 15 feet. Foul's gonna be on 10, Lily Stennett, her second, team's ninth. 10 for Runyon, and she goes to the line for one. Anika Smith back in there. Smith with eight first half points. Runyon with 10. Runyon's free throw is up, and it is no good. Rattles out, Bales with a rebound. In the front court, it goes to McDowell. McDowell on the right wing, throws it away. Kellen Baker with a steal, McDowell with a turnover. And then a whistle and a foul in back court. It's going to be the double bonus. Foul is on McDowell. Her first team tenth. And so now the double bonus is a bonus for both teams. So Kellen Baker at the line for two. Hits it. Kellen now with five points to tie her sister. Who also has five. 
Kellen with two fouls, but Malia on the bench with three. Kellen's second free throw, good. Nothing but a thing. Drains the free throws, and the charge rates are up 12. 29-17. Baker almost with a steal as she jumps in the passing lane, but it's off her out of bounds. And now they'll have the inbound from the corner in, in backcourt. Not a fun place to be along the sideline. Gets it in, though. There's Henry. Henry. Sophie Henry drives, misses the layup, and then the ball goes off Bells out of bounds as she comes crashing in for the rebound. Can't control it, and the Charger will get the basketball back. 2.13 to go in the half. Central on top by 12, 29-17. They trailed 8-3 early, but then led 11-9 at the end of one. Went up, went up 16-9. And now it's 29-17 with 2.04 to go in the half. Anika Smith lobs it out front to Belcher. Belcher with a basketball. Belcher kicks it off left side to Anika Smith. Up top it goes to Crabtree. Crabtree over to Kellen Baker. Kellen Baker with it right wing. He's going to back it out front. Trying to reset. Almost lost the basketball. Did lose the basketball. Baker with a turnover. Send it with a steal. Send it misses the shot, but she's fouled and will go to the line to shoot two as Kara Crabtree will be whistled for her second foul of the night and the 11th on the Chargerettes. So Lily Stennett, her first trip to the line to shoot two. The freshman's first one's on its way, and it's good. So the first points of her high school career. Riley Henry back in there. Sydney McCarty exits. And Lily Stennett hits both free throws. 29-19, the lead now for the Chargerettes. Rule, in the front court, it goes to Belcher. Belcher almost traveled. Belcher goes baseline, shot up and good. I think she got away with a couple of travels. They didn't call it, we'll give her the bucket. 31-19, Chargerettes lead. Clock stop for some reason. Why is there a whistle? Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. We just made a sub on a made bucket. Anyway, Moore will inbound. Moore having trouble getting it in. Finally gets it in there to Sophie Henry. Henry up ahead to Bells. Bells works her way in. Shot up no good. Blocking foul on Reese Belcher, and Bells will go to the line to shoot two. First foul on Belcher. Team's 12th, and they're only playing with 10 on the entire roster. And Bell's back at the line shooting two. She's three of four from the line. Now make that four of five. With six points for Bell's. Second shot up for Bell's is on its way. That one is good. So Bell's made them both. She has seven in the first half. And that pulls Gatlinburg-Pittman back within 10 with 1.20 to go in the half. Rule to Smith, back over to Rule, right sideline, back court, in the front court, it goes to Belcher. Belcher on the right wing, Belcher goes baseline. Belcher, reverse layup, it's no good. Missed everything but the backboard. And Bales pulls down the rebound. Bales pushes it into front court. Bales, shot up, no good. Belcher with the rebound for the Chargerettes. And then Carly Rule throws the outlet pass away. She turns it over. Bell shot up, no good, but she's fouled, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. Sophie Henry stole the pass, the outlet pass. Bells drove in. Foul's going to be on rule, her third. So you got two guards with three fouls before halftime. So Bells back to the line to shoot two. First one's up and good. You got to wonder if the Chargers going to pull off some pressure due to the foul situation. Bells free throw is up and it's good as well. 31-23 Central leads it. 12 point lead back down to 50 seconds to go in the half. Kellen Baker lost the basketball. Kellen Baker with the, with the turnover. Sophie Henry with another steal. Henry with it left wing. Out front it goes to Riley Henry. Now Bells has it between the circles with 34 seconds left in the half. Ivy Bells with it left wing, lobs it into the paint. Baker tips it out, but Sophie Henry chases it down. 
And now back out front, they go to reset to Moore. 20 seconds left in the half, Charger heads up eight. They once led by 12. Moore. They also once trailed by five. Good pass down low into Bells, but it's knocked away, stolen by Kellen Baker. And then Reese Belcher almost turned it right back over. But Kellen Baker gets the steal. And Chargerettes with the basketball chance for the final shot. Reese Belcher with it left wing. Three-pointer up for Belcher. Hits the side of the backboard, no good at the end of the half. Chargerettes 31, Gatlinburg-Pittman 23. We'll take a break, come back with the first. Almost stolen, loose, and it is taken away. Malia Baker with a steal. Baker pulls up, jumper, bottom. So Baker with her seventh point of the night, Chargerettes lead now at 10. Now in the front court to Moore. Moore almost threw it away. Runyon got in the passing lane. Goes off our hands out of bounds. So do we get one Pittman basketball. 33-23 Central on top. 7.38 to go in the third quarter. And McCarty gets it out front to Moore. Moore. Off it goes left side to Riley Henry up top to Bales. Bales back into the hands of McCarty. She'll set the offense with 7.27 to go in the third quarter. Charger hits up 10, 33-23. Over goes right wing to Moore. Moore picks up her dribble. Up top it goes to Riley Henry. Back over it goes to McCarty. McCarty's going to go back out to the center circle, reset the offense again, with this time with 7.10 to go. Riley Henry to the left wing gets a pick. They don't roll. Now outside it goes to McCarty, left wing. McCarty cut off. Out front it goes to Riley Henry. Over it goes to Bales on the right wing. Bales backs it out. Going to reset the offense once more with 6.50 to go in the third quarter. Bales in the paint. Bales feeds it off. Riley Henry up top. Moore. Moore at the free throw line. Turns. Kicks it out front. Bettis. Three-pointer. Bottom. Four for Bettis. Moore gets the assist. And that cuts the charge rate lead to seven, 33-26. 6.28 to go in the third. Runyon with it out front. Going to get a five call, and that's five. Runyon turns it over, and it'll be Gatlinburg-Pittman basketball with 6.21 to go in the third quarter. McCarty in backcourt, over to Bales. Into front court, it goes to Moore. Down low to Bettis, open on the left block, shot up, no good. And Anika Smith pulls down her sixth rebound of the night. Malia Baker with the basketball backcourt. Baker, down the lane, Baker off the glass. Shot no good, she's fouled, we'll go to the line for two. That foul's on Bettis, her second, team first of the second half. And Malia Baker at the line to shoot two. Free throw up, and good. So now Malia with eight points. Charger at lead is eight. Second free throw for Baker. That one is good. And Charger at lead back out to nine at 35-26 with 6.04 to go in the third quarter. McCarty in backcourt is trapped, loses the basketball. Belcher with the steal, Belcher then turns it over. So Belcher with a turnover and a steal. In the front court, it goes to Bales. Bales, left block, Bettis lays it in. Bales with the assist. Bettis with the bucket. She has six. And the Charger at lead back down to seven with 5.44 to go in the third quarter. Runyon with it out front. Runyon kicks it off left wing to Belcher. Belcher goes baseline off the glass. Shot no good. Gets her own rebound. Chases it down on the right wing. And then walked with it, got away with it. Nika Smith with it at the free throw line. Off it goes left wing to Runyon. Runyon goes baseline. Runyon off the glass. Good. Carly Runyon. 12 for Carly. She had 10 in the first half. Her first bucket of the second half. Charger S back out in front by nine. McCarty with it in back court. Weaves through the press. McCarty in front court. Gives it off left wing to Bells. To the trailing Moore for three. That one no good. Runyon with a rebound. Runyon in front court with the basketball. Runyon on the right wing. Into the right corner, it goes to Baden. Up top, it goes to Smith. Smith skips it across left side, Belcher. Into the left corner to Runyon for three. That one's an air ball. Backside rebound, chased down by Bettis. 
And then she has it stolen away by Belcher, who scores. Belcher with a steal in the bucket. Four points for Belcher. And the Chargerettes are on top by 11. Loose basketball, stolen by Beatty. McCarty turns it over. Malia Baker with it front court. Off it goes to Runyon, left wing, three-pointer. That would have been a dagger, it doesn't go in. Beatty gets the rebound though, and she'll go to the line to shoot too. You can't really have a dagger in a third period, but that'd have been huge. Huge. <laughs> Fouls on Bells, her first of the night. Team second. And so Carzy Beatty steps to the free throw line. Chargerettes have ballooned the lead back out to 11 with 421 to go in the third quarter. Free throw up and good. First points of the night for Carzy Beatty. To charge that lead back to 12 as it stood late in the first half before Gallenberg Pittman went on a little mini run. Second free throw for Beatty. That one rattles out no good. And Shelby Moore comes down with the rebound for Gatlinburg Pittman. She picks up her dribble in backcourt. There it goes to Lily Stennett, the freshman. Stennett, long pass up ahead, threw it away, stolen by Runyon. Runyon pushes it into front court. Runyon, crossover. Runyon down the lane. Runyon, bottom. 14 for Runyon. 42 28 Central on top. Stennett in front court. She's trapped. Picks up her dribble, over it goes to Moore. Over the left wing to Riley Henry. Skip the cross to Sophie Henry, and she'll back it out with 3.44 to go into third quarter. Sophie Henry with it. Sophie Henry top of the key. Dribbles over the right wing. Kicks it back out front to Moore. Moore between the circles will reset the offense with 3.33 to go into third quarter. Anika Smith denying Sophie Henry. And that's a foul. No timeout. Timeout, Gatlinburg Pittman. We'll be back in 60 seconds on 99.5 FM. Cassie. We'll do this. A full court pressure and attack in the basket. Gallenberg Pittman trying to get it in. There it goes to Bailey McDowell, now out front to Riley Henry. Chargerettes on top now by 14 with 321 to go in the third quarter. Just outside the free throw line to Moore. To the trailing Stennett who lays it in. Moore with the, re with the assist. Stennett with her first field goal of the night, her fourth point of the night. And that'll cut the Chargerette lead back down to 12 with 304 to go in the third quarter. Carly Rule checks in to Kellen Baker, Kellen Baker goes baseline, misses the shot, gets her own rebound. It's no good, her put back no good. And then the rebound comes down to Riley Henry. To Sophie Henry, up ahead to Moore. Moore lays it in. Sophie Henry with the assist. First buck of the second half for Moore. Charger that lead cut to 10, back in 30 seconds as Johnny Morgan wants timeout. Back in 30 seconds on 99.5 FM. Well, Charger at basketball as they lead 42-32. Johnny Morgan took his first time out of the night. Gallenberg Pittman have two remaining. Baker with it out front, Malia that is. Malia kicks it off right wing to Carly Rule. Back to Malia Baker on the right block, turns off the glass and good. Malia. Carly Rule the assist. Malia Baker with the bucket, she has 10. Central on top by 12. 
Now they're behind the defense, up ahead. Sophie Henry trying to chase it down, can't save it. Pass a little too far by McCarty. We'll give her the turnover. And it'll be Charger at basketball. Anika Smith trying to get it in. Anika hands it off to Malia Baker, and she's fouled. And they make it a technical from the hit the coach. She's getting frustrated. Foul on Riley Henry, her first team third of the half. Been a couple of times she thought a foul should have been called on the Chargerettes. They're sitting there with a goose egg. And then a foul against Kellenberg Pittman. Bell the Chargerettes out. That ball knocked out of bounds by Sophie Henry. So now the Chargerettes are going to inbound left sideline backcourt. Sideline and backcourt. Not a fun place. That one tipped out of bounds. And the Chargerettes will inbound it now from the baseline. And Johnny Morgan frustrated with Anika Smith, and she can't take step. Yes, yeah, she can. That's after a made. No, that wasn't after a made bucket. She got away with it. So Malia Baker in backcourt beats the double team. Up ahead to Kellen on the left block. Kellen bumped, shot up, no good. And coming out with a rebound is McDowell. And then the ball tipped out of bounds, and Gallenberg Pittman will inbound from the baseline. 2.03 to go in the third quarter. Central's on top by 12. Moore with it in backcourt after she checks it with Sophie Henry. Up ahead to Sophie Henry behind the defense. Shot is up and good. Moore with another assist. Sophie Henry with another with a bucket. Her first field goal of the night. And then a steal by McCarty. And he turns it right back over to Malia Baker. Shot up by Kellen Baker, no good. McKinley Baker. Can't save it, and it goes back over to Gatlinburg Pittman. Forty-four, thirty-four. The score. It's getting sloppy here late in the third quarter. More trouble getting it in, and she calls timeout. They're down to one timeout. Back in sixty seconds. This is the Charger at basketball on ninety-nine point five FM. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is Central High School Basketball on 99.5 FM. Welcome back to the Roundhouse. Chargerettes lead it by 10, as sloppy as they've played. Gatlinburg Pittman has been just as sloppy. Chargerettes made a few more shots, and they're up double digits here with late in the third quarter. It's going to be Gatlinburg Pittman basketball inbounding from their baseline with 138 to go in the third quarter. Central on top 44-34. More to inbound for Gatlinburg Pittman. Baseball pass up ahead is going to be out of bounds, but it's off McKinley Buckner. Let's hope she's okay. She landed awkwardly. She appears to be fine. So now Sophie Henry will inbound from the baseline, lobs it into Moore with the right elbow. Moore takes the dribble left, shot up. It's no good. Carly Runyon pulls down the rebound. She's double teamed and gets it up ahead to Malia Baker. Malia Baker in the front court to McKinley Buckner. Diagonal pass right block to Anika Smith. The shot rattles out, no good. She gets her own rebound. Her putback no good. And then a foul is going to be called on McKinley Buckner on the rebound. McAllister got the rebound. So they're letting them play one minute, not letting them play the next. Johnny Morgan getting a little frustrated. 119 to go in the third quarter. Gatlinburg Pittman with a basketball. Chargerettes with a 10-point lead. Moore with it in the backcourt. Up ahead it goes to Sophie Henry. Bounce pass to, to McCarty who lays it in. Sophie Henry with the assist. A lot of assists in the second half for Gatlinburg Pittman. And they've cut it to eight. Runyon gets it up ahead to McKinley Buckner who instead of taking the shot tries to do a baseline pass and McKinley's getting ready to come out. Carsey Beatty's going to go get her. So Chargers going to inbound beneath their bucket. Had a good chance for a bucket there, but Buckner didn't take the shot. So Runyon throws it away. 
as Baker cut in, so Runyon with a turnover. McCoster with a steal. And now McCarty with it, top of the key. Charger at lead, that had ballooned to 14, is now back down to eight. Pittman with the basketball, McCarty's shot is up, it's no good, but she gets her own rebound. And now she's gonna reset the offense with 38 seconds to go into the third quarter. McCarty in the paint, has it tipped away, loose ball, she picks it up. And then timeout, that's the final timeout of the game for Gatlinburg Pittman. Back in 60 seconds on 99.5 FM. She's out of timeouts. Wow. Man, they're getting behind our press easy. They weren't earlier, but they are now. Yep. Something's changed. I don't know what it is. Gatlinburg Pittman basketball here, 31 seconds to go in the third quarter. Central's lead from 14 down to eight. Henry, Henry, get back to McCarty at midcourt. Picks up her dribble and throws it away. Stolen by Runyon. Runyon in front court. Runyon pulls up, 17 footer. Bottom. 16 for Carly Runyon. Central back out in front by 10 with seven seconds to go in the third quarter. Bells to Moore. Moore in backcourt, three seconds to go in the quarter. One second to go in the quarter, and that's the end of the third quarter. Chargerettes up top by 10 after three on 99.5 FM. Back in 60 seconds. Back to the roundhouse, Chargerettes lead at 46-36 as we get in the fourth quarter. Wesley Dunkel's here now. I'm here now. What do you think, Wes? Well, I think they're getting behind our press a little bit too easily. I don't know how that is. Listen on the radio, you know, in the first half, they weren't doing that. Uh, need to tighten that up. You know, we need to keep uh, you know, being aggressive going through the, through the rim. I seem like seems like that's how we've gotten the majority of our points. You know, from outside, we're you know we haven't been consistent right so far. So we need to, you know, get back to the free throw line, keep doing what we're doing. Charge right basketball, we begin the fourth quarter up 10, 7.55 to go in the third quarter, in the, in the ball game rather. And then Johnny Morgan calls timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is the Charge Red basketball on 99.5 FM. Actually, Randy, make it 60. He's gonna take a full one instead. Charger at basketball, 7.51 to go in the ball game. 
46-36 Central on top. Runyon with it out front. Runyon. Runyon dribbles over to the right wing, feeds it in the right corner to Malia Baker. Malia Baker up top. Kellen Baker for three. Rattles out, no good. And Moore pulls down the rebound for Gatlinburg Pittman. McCarty with it now in backcourt. McCarty trapped up ahead. They're going to call blocking foul on Malia Baker. That's her fourth. She made it all the way through the third quarter without committing one, but now picks up her fourth with 7.28, 7.28 rather, to go in the ball game. Second foul of the second half on the Chargerettes. So McCarty with it in backcourt. McCarty still with it in backcourt. Up ahead, throws it away, but Moore picks it off. Up to Henry, who laid it in. Wow. Assist for Moore. Henry with another bucket. She has five. Now quick. Quickly the other way, Kellen Baker driving the right side of the lane as it knocked away from behind. Chargerette lead at eight with 7.09 to go in the ball game. They led by as many as 14, 42 to 28. It's a 10-4 run for Gatlinburg Pittman. Baker with it. Off it goes left wing to Buckner. Buckner over to Anika Smith in the left corner. She'll bring it back out front to Malia Baker. 6.57 to go in the ball game. Chargerette's up eight. McKinley Buckner with it, feeds it into the paint to Malia Baker. She's fouled on the floor, so the Chargerettes will inbound from the baseline. Fouls on Riley Henry, her second, team's fourth. So with 6.51 to go in the ball game, Chargerettes up eight, inbound from their baseline, lobbed out front to Malia Baker. Malia gets a pick from McKinley Buckner. Right corner, it goes to Kellen Baker. Back to Malia on the right block. Shot up and good. Kellen with the assist. Malia, Malia with a bucket. 12. The Chargerettes back out in front by 10. Now Bale's going to push it. Bale's going to beat the press. Bale's all the way down, lays it in. First bucket of the second half for Bale's. Chargerette lead back down to eight. Runyon throws it. Oh, no. Anika Smith caught it. No, Anika Smith lost it. Smith with a turnover, Bells with a steal. Into front court, it goes to Moore in the left corner. Chance to get it under eight for the Gatlinburg Pittman Lady Highlanders. Bells baseline, shot blocked, but a foul call. So no block, it's a foul on Anika Smith, her first. Team's third. We'll send Bells to the free throw line for two. She's seven of eight from the line. Makes that one, cuts the Chargerette lead down to seven. Second one on its way, no good. And Anika Smith with the rebound. I believe that's seven or eight for her on the night. Baker with it in backcourt still, gives it over to Runyon, the eye on the front court. Chargerette's lead by seven with six minutes to go. Smith over to Runyon, left corner for three. Bottom! 19 for Carly Runyon in the Chargerettes lead. Back out to 10. Anika Smith with the assist. 5.47 to go in the ball game. Bales with it. Back court for Gatlinburg Pittman. Into front court. Pulls up free throw line. Kicks it off left wing. Three pointer for Sophie Henry. That's an air ball. Battling for the rebound, though. Moore comes down with it. Left wing now to Sophie Henry. Left side of the lane to Bales. Bales going to try to drive. Bales in the paint. Bales pulls up and hits it. Bales a good ball player. 14 for Bells, Charger at lead back down to eight. Quickly into front court, Malia Baker with it right wing. She's gonna be trapped, but she beats the trap, and a blocking foul is gonna be called on Sophie Henry. Wow, we'll take it. First foul tonight for Sophie Henry, fifth foul for the Lady Highlanders. Now McCollister's gonna check back in for Gatlinburg Pittman. With 5.15 to go in the ball game, Charger rates are up eight. Anika Smith's pass is tipped out of bounds by McCarty, so now the Charger is going to inbound in backcourt. Anika Smith, slender to start the season, and a whistle and a holding foul on McCollister on the inbound. That's McCollister's third, team sixth foul of the half, so the next one will put the Charger in the bonus. Malia Baker in backcourt. Beats McCollister, splits the double team, loses the basketball though. Baker turns it over, Bales with a steal. 
Baker with a turnover. And now in, front, in the middle of the court, and a foul on Runyon on the floor. Second foul on Runyon, fourth team foul on the Chargerettes. Runyon battling for a loose basketball whistle for the foul. So Moore will inbound right sideline front court, chance to cut into the Chargerettes eight point lead with 4.57 to go in the ball game. McCarty with it out front for Gatlinburg Pittman. Dribbles over to the right wing and she's tripped by Nika Smith. Second foul on Smith, fifth team foul on the Chargerettes. Carly Rule checks in for the Chargerettes. Baker's going to go to the sidelines. Ball in. Sophie Henry over to Moore for three. Rattles out, no good. Sophie Henry's rebounds there, and she puts it in. Sophie Henry beat them off the glass, puts it in. She has seven. Chargerette lead down to six with 4.36 to go in the ball game. Kellen Baker with it left wing. Tries to feed it down low to McKinley Buckner. They're going to say it's out of bounds off Buckner. Turnover Buckner. Ball in the bells. And the Charger Lets are going to bail. Up ahead it goes to Stennett. Her shot is no good. Bells can't save it. Buckner comes down with the rebound. Buckner gets the rebound and she's fouled and will go to the line to shoot one and one. So McKinley Buckner will walk the length of the court to shoot the bonus. So Buckner, after getting the defensive rebound, will go to the free throw line. She missed the front end of a one and one in the first half. Central's lead was 14. Now down to six. But Buckner at the line trying to put out the fire. Free throw on its way, missed it. And Moore comes down with a rebound for Gatlinburg Pittman, and there's a foul. Third foul on Runyon, sixth team foul on the Chargerettes, so the next one will put Gatlinburg Pittman in the bonus. Central has called off the press. So now Sophie Henry will enter front court. Working on Carly Rule. Lob tried to lob it down low. Tipped out of bounds by Kellen Baker, so now Gatlinburg Pittman will inbound from the baseline. 4.02 to go in the ball game. Chargerettes lead down to six. And it goes to Bells. Bells shot up is no good, and Anika Smith pulls down another board, and she's fouled and will go the length of the court to shoot free throws. That foul's going to be on Sophie Henry, her second. Team's eighth. So now Anika Smith a chance to put out the fire. McKinley Bucker, Buckner missed the front end just moments ago. So Anika Smith, eight points in the first half, has not scored since early in the second quarter. And miss, Chargerettes missed that free throw. And Bales pulls down the rebound. Bales pushes it into front court and th throws it away. Carly Rule with a steal. Rule in front court. Rule fouled will go to the line to shoot the front end of a one and one. Where have we heard that before? That's Henry's third, team's ninth. So now Corley Rule at the line for the front end of a one and one. Chargerettes have missed three of those in this ball game. Corley Rule makes that one though. Her first points of her Chargerette career come with 3.47 to go in the ball game to give her team a seven point lead. Second free throw for Rule. She made them both like nothing. And that puts the Chargers lead back out to eight with 3.47 to go in the ball game. Malia Baker checks back in. So Baker, Malia Baker, Kellen Baker, Carly Runyon, McKinley Buckner, and Anika Smith on the floor for the Chargerettes. Chargerettes are not pressing. They are playing man because that's what Chargerettes do. They play man to man. So. Sophie Henry with the basketball out front. Back door cut by Moore. It's good, and she's fouled. Runyon picks up her fourth, I believe. It is her fourth. So Malia Baker and Carly Runyon both with four fouls. 
Moore gets her 10th point. Henry gets another assist. And the Charger lead back down to six and a chance to get down to five here if Moore makes the free throw. It's up. It's good. 11 for Moore. Charger at lead down to five with 3.34 to go in the ball game. Kellen Baker with it in backcourt. Kellen Baker trying to get out of trouble. She's triple team. Into front court it goes to Malia Baker. And Charger at instead of attacking, pull it out. 3.22 to go in the ball game. Central up five. Baker drives off the side of the backboard. It's no good. McCarty with a rebound. McCarty to Bales. Bales in the paint. Shot blocked by Buckner. Buckner blocks it. Henry's three is no good. McCarty gets the rebound. Her putback no good. And then a foul on the rebound as Sophie Henry comes down with it. So Buckner got a block. Two shots for Henry. Smith picks up her third. So Henry at the line to shoot two. Could get the Charger at lead down to three. If she makes them both, she misses the first one badly. She missed two badly in the first half on her first trip. And then made one of two her next trip. So she's now one of four from the free throw line. Makes that one. Or oh, she's be one of five, now two of six. She has eight points in the ball game. Charger at lead down to four with three minutes to go. Kellen Baker beats the double team somehow. Drives, kicks it in the corner. Malia Baker, 18-footer. It's no good, an air ball. And then ball goes out of bounds over to Gatlinburg Pittman. Chargers are getting out of control, that impatient, rushing shots. Now Gatlinburg Pittman, a chance to get it under four. With 2.40 to go in the ball game. Central led by 14 in the second half. Bettis with it out front. Lost the basketball, loose ball on the ground, jump ball, and it's Gatlinburg Pittman basketball on the alternate possession. So now the possession there will favor the Chargerettes. They have one timeout left. Gatlinburg Pittman has zero. So Henry gets it into backcourt to McCarty. McCarty guarded by Kellen Baker. Over it goes right wing to Sophie Henry. Sophie Henry drives baseline. Takes over, she missed the shot though, and Anika Smith pulls down another rebound. Malia Baker to, Kelly, to McKinley Buckner, but now Johnny Morgan wants timeout. Thirty second timeout. We're back in thirty seconds on 99.5 FM. Chargers have two fools left. The Charger at basketball left sideline front court, 2.11 to go. What was a 14 point second half lead is now four. Central led at 46-36 to begin this quarter. They've been outscored 13-7 here in the fourth quarter. Anika Smith gets it into Carly Runyon. Back over to Anika on the left wing. Anika, the feed's not there. Out front it goes to Runyon. Runyon has numbers. Runyon in the paint. Tries to force it to Baker instead of taking the shot, and she turns it over. Bales with a steal. In front court to Moore. Moore out there at the center circle with it, guarded by Anika Smith. Gives it up to McCarty. McCarty at the center circle. 1.42 to go in the ball game. The Charger at lead is four. Gatlinburg Pittman with the basketball. Bells, turns, 15 footer, bottom. Moore with another assist. Bells with a bucket, she has 16. The Charger at lead is down to two with 1.28 to go. Malia Baker with it out front. Malia Baker at the right elbow. Kicks it off to Kellen Baker. Out front to McKinley Buckner. Buckner into Malia Baker in the paint. Malia turns, shot is up, it's no good. And Bales pulls down the rebound. Bales loses it. Malia Baker steals it to Carly Runyon. 
who misses the shot, and Nika Smith's rebound. It's, and put back, it's blocked out of bounds by Bells, but the Chargerettes will have the basketball. So Central with the basketball, up two with 101 to go. Gallagher Pittman has no timeouts, the Chargerettes have two. Gallagher Pittman with nine team fouls, the Chargerettes with eight. Malia Baker with it right wing, gives it in the right corner to Kellen Baker. Kellen Baker needs to do something with the basketball. Five counts coming. Out front it goes to Anika Smith. Left wing to Carly Runyon. Runyon dribbles it out front. Runyon drives. Runyon shot up. It's good. 21 for Carly Runyon. 55-51. Chargerettes on top with 33 seconds to go. Lob down low to Sophie Henry. Right elbow, Bohr for 15 foot. No good. Ball tipped. Sophie Henry gets the rebound. Henry goes baseline, shot is up, and is in, off the glass. 10 for Henry, back to a three-point lead. McKinley Buckner's behind the defense. Saves it in to Runyon. Runyon up two with eight seconds, six seconds. Finally, she's fouled with 5.2 seconds to go. That'll be overlooked, but McKinley Buckner keeping that ball from going out of bounds was huge, <laughs> huge. <laughs> so now Runyon at the free throw line. Chargerette's up two with 5.2 to go. She's shooting two. First one is good as the double bonus is upon us. That's 23 for Carly tonight. Make it 24 if she makes them both. Six of six from the free throw line. Johnny Morgan calls timeout back in 30 seconds on 99.5 FM. We'll be back in 30 seconds on 99.5 FM. That really was big down there. If that ball goes out, you're only up two with... They got the ball? Yeah. Almost 10 seconds left. 12 seconds left, really. Point two seconds remaining. Chargerettes lead it 57-53. Gatlinburg Pittman length of the court away. Moore will inbound. Chargerettes are in a token press. McCarty guarded in backcourt by Runyon. Over it goes left wing. Sophie Henry for three. No good. And the Chargerettes hold on to win it 57 to 53. We'll take a break and come back with your final stats as the Chargers defeat Gatlinburg Pittman on their home opener, 57 to 53 here on 99.5 FM. 